Bedford Dixon. This morning, ABC Radio's AM Current Affairs program gave me a bit of airtime. If you could share this via your personal network, that would be a help for my campaign in Dixon. Thanks. Take care. In Queensland, one of the intriguing questions is where former Palmer United Party supporters will park their votes. 10% of Queensland voters gave their support to the minor party in 2013. This time, they could help determine marginal seats like Petrie. Annie Guest reports. It's lunchtime. An independent candidate, Thor Prohaska, is campaigning. My name's Thor. Hi, Thor. I'm standing for election uh, in Dixon. The former builder's labourer turned teacher, come IT worker, is not new to elections. In 2013, I had the opportunity to run as one of Clive's pups in Petrie. I thought Clive's saying the right things, he wants to reunite Australia and bring everyone together and fix our democracy. Thor Prohaska won over 10% of the vote. But who will those voters support this time? Their choice could determine the fate of the LNP's most marginal seat. Petrie is held by just 0.53%. Minor party voters are something of a specialty of Professor Clive Bean, a political scientist from QUT. In a situation where there, there isn't a Palmer United candidate, that support will be dispersed. The LNP will benefit to some extent, but not hugely. The Greens vote halved in Petrie in 2013. If it recovers, Professor Bean says Greens' preferences may deliver Petrie to Labor. And he guessed with that report. Vote one, four, four. Dixon. Australia.